A work of art doesn't need to be 100% original to be covered by a copyright. In L. Batlin and Son v. Snyder, the court considered whether a plastic replica of a public domain toy bank was sufficiently original to warrant copyright protection. Uncle Sam mechanical banks have been on the American scene since 1886, when they were first patented. The metal banks portrayed Uncle Sam wearing his usual stovepipe hat, star-spangled vest, and red and white striped trousers, standing with a carpet bag next to his feet. A coin placed in Uncle Sam's outstretched hand would fall into the carpet bag at the press of a lever. There were familiar symbols on the figure as well, such as an eagle on the base holding an arrow in its talons. The banks were widely produced and available after the patent ran out. Toy maker Jeffrey Snyder contracted with a Hong Kong company to create a smaller version of the bank made with plastic and with some symbols changed. The eagle on the base of Snyder's bank clutched leaves instead of an arrow, for example, because the arrow didn't reproduce well in plastic on a smaller size. Snyder copyrighted his version of the Uncle Sam mechanical bank. A competitor business called L. Batlin & Son tried to import its own plastic version of the bank, but the United States Customs Service blocked its shipments because of Snyder's copyright. Batlin sought an injunction against enforcement of Snyder's copyright. The district court granted the injunction, and Snyder appealed to the Second Circuit.